right, so I'm just getting ready to go to my hydrofacial appointment and I just wanted to do a little before and after to show you my skin, how it is right now. Uh, I have no self tanner on, just kind of keep the skin as fresh as possible so it can really uh, get in there and do its job. I think by this stage of winter, we're into February, your skin has just had it so I just, I really wanted something to just give life and youthfulness back to my skin. So I'm going to go and relax. It's like wintry outside. It's like an ice stormy kind of snowstorm going on. So I can't wait to just kind of relax there and have a little bit of self-care me time because I've got a really busy day ahead of me with my son's birthday and hockey and other things going on during the day that I have to get done so this will definitely be my favorite part of the day so I'm just gonna get ready and I will take you guys along with me So this is the first of the three steps in a 30 minute um, process, cleansing and peeling. So it's just a gentle exfoliation just to uncover a new layer of skin and definitely one of the most relaxing treatments to have that has a big impact on the appearance of your skin. Hydrofacial addresses all of the skincare needs. Uh, fine lines, wrinkles, elasticity, firmness, even tone, vibrancy, skin texture, brown spots, congested and oily skin, and enlarged pores. So it's definitely something that everybody can benefit from. All right, this is the second step to extract and hydrate. So we're removing debris uh, from the pores with painless suction, as well as nourishing the skin with intense moisturizers. myself that is what I was looking to get out of the hydrofacial the most was the hydration and the intense moisturizers because my skin has just been feeling so dull and just lackluster lately from winter time. All right, we are on to the third step, which is to fuse and protect. So the skin is going to be saturated with peptides and antioxidants to maximize that nice glow that you want. This is a fourth optional uh, step that you can have put on, which is the boost. So the boost, um, there's three options. You can go for a Derma Builder Boost, which will minimize the signs of aging and recharges the skin with combination of peptides. You can go with the Growth Factor Boost, which minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles to restore healthy skin vitality. That is the one that I went with, the growth factor. And then the Brightenol Boost, which minimizes the appearance of dark spots and sunspots for an even complexion.
All right, so this is right after my hydrofacial. So there's just a slight bit of redness, but that should go down quickly. Um, my skin felt a little bit warm after, but that also subsided quite quickly, but my skin is feeling so dewy and glowy and just subtle, supple. Um, I'd like to leave it for the rest of the day without makeup, but we are going out, so I will probably have to apply a little bit of makeup later on in the day. So I will come back in a couple hours and just show you um, what my skin looks like then. All right, this is my skin a few hours later and it feels radiant and glowing and I'm so happy that I went and got it done because my skin was in dire need of something. So yeah, this is my skin afterwards. This is my skin with makeup, so glowing still. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.